Hello, my name is Periqua and welcome to the Truly Woman series and today's question is I often use sex to feel better and afterwards I regret it and feel worse. How can I break this pattern? A woman that is using sex to try and make herself feel better is probably living a more male driven life. In other words, she's using a lot of mental energy in her day. Maybe she's in a high-powered position. Maybe she's having to work you know, eight or nine hours in an office on computers. Maybe she's having to hard drive sell things. But whatever it is, she's using a lot of male energy to exist and uh, to create her world. To create her money and in order to relieve the pressure she's trying to use sex to actually um, release the tension that she knows she's not being completely authentic to herself to her true nature as woman of course a woman can be in the world using her mind she could be a psychologist, she could be an office worker, she could be a saleswoman using the mind. But if she's driven by a much more male approach to this work, rather than balancing it with her femininity, in other words, she's still connecting with her body in, through her work. She's still connecting through her body daily. She's still connecting through her breath daily she's still listening to her inner knowing but when we start to leave our inner knowing because we are striving to be more um, maybe we're trying to make more money um, maybe we're doing something that's not completely authentic to our nature then sex becomes like a release or a pressure valve taking away the pressure of the fact that I'm really not being true to myself as a woman and the release is very quick. If she achieves orgasm, it's yet another achievement, just like anything else in, in her masculine world. She's achieved orgasm, but there's no sense of fulfillment. Because in sexuality and in lovemaking, orgasm isn't a state to achieve. It's, orgasm is a place that opens up the body into a place of deep love. It's the recognition that this whole earth is in a state of love. And I'm speaking of the very nature of the earth. Not what humanity has created on the earth, but the very nature of this female spirit, this feminine spirit of the planet, is resonating in a resonance of love. So when my body opens up in orgasm, then I'm recognizing that I'm deeply connected and a part of this great web that is the Mother Earth of love. But when I use sex and it's to achieve maybe a release to make myself feel better, then it's a mental release. And mental release never ever brings a state of this deep fulfillment that comes from bringing two bodies together in a deep state of love. And often with the usage of sex to make yourself feel better, it often goes hand in hand with alcohol, maybe cigarettes as well, but often alcohol. So with alcohol, you have the same level of consciousness going on, getting a release from the pressure of life. So I get a release from the pressure of my life and I start to feel that I'm more myself because I'm not thinking so much because the alcohol has opened up all my bloodstream and it's opened up the mind more. So then I start to look for who, who can I get a feed from in order to make myself feel even better. So the alcohol often meets another person who's also drinking so a very, very foggy energy meets another foggy energy. The bodies come together on a very base level and then they part. He goes his way in the morning, she goes her way and probably neither of you feel any better for the experience. So then I would ask you a question. Where are you not being true to yourself? Is it in your work? Is it in somewhere the way that you're living your life? Where is it that you can bring more balance, 
more femininity, more love to meet that masculine exploration of the world, of the business world, of the work world or whatever it is that your life is demanding of you. Where can you bring more of that true nature, of who you really are, of your love into this so that there's more of a marriage happening both inside yourself and in your daily life. So getting honest about where you're not being true to yourself will help you to stop looking outside to relieve the pressure of your untruth. That is the first thing that I would be looking into in myself if I were looking for a feat to make me feel better. So thank you for spending a few moments with me.